What if you had hope? Hope for your present and your future? What if there was a medical breakthrough that was big, really big? Hi, I'm Kevin, and I'm talking to you today because I have really good news. Really good news. So big that Washington State University just a few years ago said that this may be the most extraordinary therapeutic and most extraordinary preventative breakthrough in the history of medicine. What if this was researched by major institutions around the world, such as Harvard, John Hopkins Hospital, Louisiana State, Oregon State, Washington State, Colorado State, Northwestern University, University of Montreal, University of Amsterdam, and the American Heart Association, just to name a few? What if the National Institutes of Health, our government agency, said that this is the only thing that they have found in over 20 years of research that has been proven to extend lifespan by 7%? And not just lifespan, but health span as well. What would you do with five more healthy years? What if hundreds of people have had major health increases and health recoveries from big problems for over a decade now? What if good doctors, cutting edge physicians, have had their patients using this? Yet, what if you were still one of the first to learn about it? Again, what if you had hope? Well, what if you took just a few minutes to see what ABC News had to say about this? They did an investigation to see what they could dig up or expose as overstated and false claims. Would you join me for just a few minutes and see what they had to say? Let's take a look. You want to get an edge on turning back the clock with just a few pills? Who doesn't? Well, it's no longer science fiction, but science possibility, a potential breakthrough. As I found out firsthand, there may be a way to erase years, at least inside my body. Granted, it's down the road, but some scientists are wondering if a new pill I took might offer a very long life. It may not look like the fountain of youth, but inside this nondescript building, I'm about to become part of an exciting experiment, a kind of guinea pig. Dr. McCord, okay. I'm here at the University of Colorado in Denver to meet Dr. Joe McCord, a world-renowned scientist. This is uh, pretty exciting stuff you're finding, huh? It is. We're very excited about it. His latest research could very well unravel the mystery of aging itself. And as decades of experiments may have the potential of adding years to people's lives and possibly prevent chronic diseases like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. It all centers around this small yellow pill, and for me, it begins with a blood test. Can you scoop? Yeah, there we go. It wouldn't be the first time I've given blood for this company. <laughs> they want to check my levels of something called T-bars, which is a rough indicator of a person's actual age. T-bars can identify a condition known as oxidative stress, a kind of measure of the wear and tear on our bodies. Oxidative stress, like the rusting of an engine, is not a good thing. Bad for the body. Leading to disease. Leading to disease and leading to malfunction and importantly leading to what we call aging. It is a slow progression of increasing oxidative stress. That's the main characteristic biochemically of the aging process. The problem of aging begins with the very food we eat to give us energy. As our cells burn that food, they also release toxic chemicals those chemicals, you may know them as free radicals, react with all the components of our cells, literally bombarding them millions of times per second, damaging all our cells. The result? Oxidative stress. And we all have it. The body fights back with a system of defenses. It makes two antioxidant enzymes, catalase and SOD, whose job is to gobble up the free radicals before they can harm our cells. So, doctor, how often do I take these? And so, here I go. With that swallow, I've just become part of a potentially landmark scientific experiment. Doesn't taste bad. <laughs> It's called protandive, and tests on both mice and humans have already shown that it revs up the manufacture of those good enzymes in our bodies. More enzymes, fewer free radicals to harm us. Right now, all we know is that this preparation decreases oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is not a disease, just like aging is not in itself a disease, but it's something that accompanies and is attached to, to many disease processes. So you can see the age-related 
Normally, oxidative stress, measured by those T-bars, increases with age. But in Dr. McCord's tests, taking just one pill of protandum a day reversed that trend for everyone at every age, even for an 80-year-old. They all are reduced to the level of oxidative stress that one would expect, frankly, in a, in a newborn or a very young child. High oxidative stress is associated with more than aging. It's been linked to hundreds of illnesses. It's at the very center of many diseases, liver disease, diabetes, emphysema, asthma. Uh, uh, I've studied all of these, strokes, heart attacks. Even mental disease? Yes. Depression? Alzheimer's disease, depression. Dr. James Crapo with the National Jewish Medical Center in Denver is also researching protandum for the company. But what about my progress? After nearly two weeks now, it's time to get my results. Dr. McCord calculates the numbers. The result, my level of oxidative stress has declined dramatically. 45%, that's, that's excellent. Just look at where I fall on the graph, before and after. Which if extrapolated back is, is the level you would see in a newborn baby. Would you suggest I keep taking this supplement? I would. Um, I can't guarantee it's going to extend your life. I can't guarantee it's going to uh, eliminate any diseases or cure any diseases. But we do know that oxidative stress is part of those disease processes. But I don't want to wait until I'm 80 years old and find out that I should have taken it. The company that makes Protandum says its tests show the pill made from ingredients used for centuries. It's the little yellow pill that scientists say could eliminate chronic diseases and help you live well into your hundreds. Quinones has been taking Protandum for two weeks now and tells Extra... I am sleeping better. I feel a lot better uh, and, and also energized when I do wake up. You know, as a patient advocate, I stumbled upon Protandum almost three years ago. Someone introduced me to Protandum. I just looked at the research and figured out, hey, wait a minute, I have to take 360 oranges in one day to get the same effect of one pill? Salt. Antioxidants, okay? These are still good, right? Oh, not only are they good, but we've breathed, breathed a whole new life into this topic. Mm -hmm. We now know that you can actually boost your own body's defenses without even just taking vitamin C uh, by eating lots of colorful fruits and vegetables. But there's also a new supplement on the market called Protandum mm -hmm. that uh, is made from an extract of herbs that actually upregulates and boosts your ear. Uh, manufacturing, natural manufacturing of antioxidant enzymes. Wow. So this is going to reduce those harmful free radicals, reduce some of that cell damage associated with, mm -hmm. with disease, and this is a double thumbs up. How do you find the energy to keep doing it night after night? We get a lot of comments. People have been emailing me and saying they love how you look, like you're ageless. It's incredible. So I have a is, secret. What is your secret? I have a secret formula, uh, and it's a company called Life Vantage. They came mm -hmm. up with a product called Protandum. Now, what causes the aging process is f f free radicals in our body, oxidative stress. Mm -hmm. This Protandum stuff, I've been taking it for two years. We have it on the table right now. Clinically there. proven to slow the aging process down. It, it, it reduces the oxidative stress by 40% in 30 days. So I tested it and it works and the nice thing it's not pharmaceutical it's mm. it's real food I'm gonna have to give it a try